<laughs> hey guys. Anybody who watches my videos knows that we are huge fans of the HBO show True Blood around these parts. With season six just around the corner, literally less than a week away, we're gonna be celebrating with a countdown to the premiere of season six with various cocktails designed for, themed after, what do you wanna say? Some of our favorite characters from the show. So let's get started right away with a twist on a classic Southern cocktail. This one is for one of my favorite characters, Jane Bodehouse, played really amazingly well by Patricia Bethune. The thing that I like about Jane is that she seems to kind of always be in a good mood, probably because she's always drunk. She's definitely one of the Merlot's crowd and she's always hammered and always kind of just ready to have a good time. Yeah. She laughs a lot, she smiles. True Blood, whether or not it's a vampire show, is actually probably one of HBO's best comedies right now. And whenever she's on camera, you know um, it's gonna be funny. So what we're gonna be doing today is a spin on a mint julep. This is something we're calling the Baby Jane Julep. And all you're gonna need for this one is your classic mint julep stuff. Obviously, you need mint, you need ice. I'm using simple syrup. Some people like to use sugar. I prefer simple syrup just because it dissolves a little bit better into the drink. Whatever your favorite bourbon is, and limoncello. This is the twist on it. To start, take probably six, seven, eight, however much mint you want, five sprigs of mint, put it in your glass. You gonna do this? I always liked you. You gave me extra pickles. <laughs> okay, once you have the mint in the glass, take some of your simple syrup. Now, I'll put a recipe in the description of the video for this, but it is honestly equal parts sugar and water cooked over a stove and a pot. It takes about three, four minutes for it to dissolve. I'm gonna use one shot of simple syrup. You can use two. I would probably actually use two because I like drink sweet and then muddle this up. Now, again, most people use uh, regular granulated sugar for this because it does help to grind up the mint leaves and release the oils, which is what flavors the drink. But this works just as well, I find. When last we left Jane, she was actually watching, what's the fairy's name? Um, I can't remember, the, the fairy that um, Andy had touched fingers to and then impregnated was give this is okay this is why i love the character there's a fairy on a pool table with her legs spread light is flying from between her legs and she's giving birth to not one not two not three but four little half hybrid fairy human children and still jane's in the corner getting drunk and she's the only character that i'm looking at now a traditional mint julep is lots of ice lots and lots of crushed ice packed really well Use your hands, because it's, you know, hygienic. I'm just using the regular ice, and actually, a classic mint julep is also in a metal cup, and it's usually, like, frosted around the, because it's so cold, the frost gets on the outside. I like to look at the colors, so I like it in a clear glass. Whatever your favorite bourbon is, you want two shots, and one shot of limoncello. Limoncello you can open it. Oh, in the drink. In the drink. Stir it up. If you have a severed finger, this would make a perfect garnish. I don't. So I'm gonna go with a sprig of mint. And there you go, that's it. The Baby Jane Tulip. All right, there you go, that's it. Enjoy, let me know what you think if you're gonna make it and make sure you tune in June 16th on HBO for season six of True Blood. I'm excited. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it and remember, until I see you next time, which will be soon, take care and drive safe. Not with this. Make this and stay home. Thank you.